What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about the Heroes of High Isles event that will be coming to the game sometime in September. Zoss kind of gave us an idea of other events we can expect to see in the Elder Scrolls Online kind of through the end of the year or at least going forward for the next several months. And the Heroes of High Isles was a new event uh, that we'll, we'll, that we will be having this year in game. I know a lot of people kind of got excited, uh, especially newer players. When I see events like this, they kind of get excited about exactly what these events are. But for everyone that's played the game for a while, you know, these, are event these, these events are always kind of something we get each and every year that kind of ties that whole year-long zone DLC together. And it's just an event kind of celebrating that DLC. So it's going to be an event celebrating the High Isles chapter. We don't have a ton of details just yet. As I said, this will be an event that's going to come out, of course, in September no specific date on that just yet as time gets you know as it gets kind of closer to the time for this to come out i'll make a video talking about everything we know about it date you know release date all that kind of stuff but right now we do know it's going to be an event that's going to kind of tie in you know ascending tide high isles lost depths and of course the new unannounced quarter four dlc so it's going to be things that's kind of revolving around that and of course with this we'll get things like you know, doing certain activities within these zones are going to give you bonus rewards. So, you know, whether you're doing public dungeons, delves, world bosses, trials, uh, just regular dungeons, whatever the case may be, we usually get something, you know, that's tied to all these activities in the, you know, high aisles kind of year long chapter. And you'll get, you know, boxes and then things for completing and certain rewards for completing quests in the high aisle zone. Also, most people kind of expect we're going to get things like, you know, double resource nodes from the high aisle zone, you know, while this event's going on. Of course, we'll have, you know, event tickets. We're not quite sure what everything is going to, you know, what everything we're going to get kind of at the end of the year. Zoss hasn't not announced everything yet that, you know, that was going to kind of involve event tickets. We're not sure exactly what the last couple of rewards are going to be just yet, but I'm sure we'll get some more information on that probably pretty soon. But the Heroes of High Isles event looks to be kind of like all the other events we have seen, you know, over the last several years. We've been playing Elder Scrolls for a long time now. And in my opinion, I've seen a lot of comments, like, like I said, from new players, kind of really excited that there's going to be a new, a new event in game. And I can understand that because when I first started playing years and years ago, all these events were new to me. So it was something different. You know, I was getting, you know, style pages and, and things that, you know, I never had before. And, you know, uh, pages from years past that I hadn't had before. Um... So I think a lot of the newer players are really excited about it, but I have seen some comments from some players in the community that are like me that have played for six or seven years now. And they're kind of, you know, not really over these events, but they don't really get excited for them anymore because there's nothing really new besides maybe a couple style pages. Everything else is kind of the same as every event we had from years past. So I'm kind of curious, what would you guys like to see Zoss do going forward with some of these events? Would you like to see them change up you know, the different things you can do in the event. We'd like to see them change up the rewards completely to where every year it's a whole set of new rewards and it's not some of the stuff we've had in the past. You know, just one or two new reward and some of the older things we've had in other events. Would you like to see, you know, kind of a, a complete revamp of how they do these events? Because we do have a lot of events in game, which I think is a great thing. But at the same time, I feel like a lot of people in the community log in, you know, just long enough to get their event tickets and they're kind of done because a lot of the other stuff within the event itself, they're not really interested in. And like I said, that's not everyone in the community, but that is a complaint that I have seen uh, on the forums from some players in the community. So leave me a comment, whether you're a new player or whether you're a person that's played for, you know, a year or for a really long time, uh, leave me a comment. And let me know what would you like to see Zoss do with these events going forward? Because I think it's a great idea to have new events and have events often in game. I just think they could change up a few things to us so it doesn't seem so similar to every other event we've had in the Elder Scrolls over the last several years. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.